I used to ice skate from the age of seven in Bournemouth, where I grew up. Mm-hmm. I used to come to London to the Queen's Ice Rink and train there, and I thought that was going to be my life. I really thought that skating was for me forever. But a talent scout saw me on the ice and asked if I wanted to be a dancer. And, of course, I did a, a bit of dance training to, to go with the skating. That was obvious. Anyway, it was like a whirlwind. I auditioned. This sort of a few weeks later, I was happened along to be in Las Vegas in a dancing line with the likes of the lovely Amy MacDonald. Mm-hmm. And it was an incredible jumping in at the deep end. I had sung at school uh, a little bit as well and was a great fan of Doris Day. And of course, being in Las Vegas, I was 16. Can mm-hmm. you imagine? To see and hear and, and be on, on the same working strip of Vegas with Frank Sinatra and across the road was Mae West mm-hmm. and up the road was Vic Damone and all these incredible artists. We had a night off every 12 nights because we were 12 dancers. We had one swing and we were able to go and see because we did three shows a night. Uh, There were three shows a night all along the strip. So we were able to see three different artists in a night uh, to hear those wonderful musicians. And I have respected bands and great musicians. I mean, we have some fabulous musicians in this country. It's been a, a learning curve, but it's also been fabulously a great wealth of joy working with with uh, doing things like the Palladium with Harry Seacum and Tommy Cooper. So I look back with great love and great respect and, and, and I cherish those days, you know, very much. And of course, since then, you've worked with so many amazing people. We ought to talk about Burt Bacharach, who I think you first met at Pi Studios back in the mid-1960s. Yeah, it was a wonderful time. Uh, he and uh, his lyricist, Hal David, they were over in London and it was obviously um, for them... Uh, a gigantic time because all of their music was was going through every single airwave in the world. Uh, And they wanted to get some British singers to, in those days, what they call cover some of the American chart uh, people. Uh, So, of course, in America, Dionne Warwick did all of his recordings, Mm. or most of them. And then people like Dusty and myself, we covered, which is very, very unusual. You wouldn't, I don't think, get it too much today. He came over, he introduced himself. He asked me to sing a song called London Life, which was for something special in London. Not necessarily a a, a big hit record, but a very, very nice song and a tribute to London. And uh, found him to be a a fabulous gentleman and um, very, very courteous, but also terribly deep into his music. And Mm. it it was very inspiring. And so I then went on to uh, record Trains and Boats and Planes. And that took me on to being in the studio with Dusty Springfield on Top of the Pops. And she called me over and said, you've got to meet my brother, Tom. Uh, I think he's got a song for you. And that turned out to be Just Loving You. So, you know, the wheels from Bacharach into uh, Tom Springfield uh, Mm. were very, very important at the beginning of my career. Well, I mean, there's so many things things that you've done, Uh, so many awards, gold and silver discs and so on that you've won over the years. People will remember you from fantastic stage shows. You play Grizabella, of course, in Cats, on oh, TV, yes. on film and so on. Engelbert's from Leicester, isn't he? He is. He, he's probably here now. We were together in the Cliff Adam Singers. We were in the mm. Grenadiers together when he was Jerry Dorsey.